Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from Tippy Butter. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I'm going to do a quick flip through on my Travelist notebook. I am actually participating in watercolor challenge or drawing daily challenge, basically. It doesn't have to be watercolor because I did some gouache practice as well in my Travelist notebook. So yeah, I'm just going to do this update video about um, how I'm doing in this in this um, challenge and I would like to share with you some of my new spreads in my Travelist notebook and yeah if you would like to join me please follow me on my Instagram and I try to post a new entry daily but anyway in today's video let us do this flip I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's actually really sunny in Vancouver today. It's been a long time. I'm so happy to see the blue sky again. Oh my goodness. Um, finally, spring is coming. I cannot wait. Anyway, so this is the Truffles Notebook standard size in brown color. This is the first ever Truffles Notebook that I've got. It's been almost seven years or six years, I believe. And it's still got the Midori made in Thailand logo at the back. On the front cover, I have two pockets in here. Inside this bottom pocket, I do have a list of confirmation. So whenever I feel down or whenever I feel a little bit upset or discouraged, um, I will read the, this list of the confirmation and then yeah, just kind of feel better. I just have a little, what? Um, I just have this little vintage flower die cut at the back and I um, laminate them all together. And then I have a pack of memo labels from Softly Studio and I just sort of put them all together. Um, so in this pocket, in the top pocket, I just have little bits and pieces like stickers, more label, some twine that I got from Happy Mail. This cat is from Happy Mail as well. And I have some swatches from my handmade watercolor um, palettes, a couple colors in here. And then this is from Bung Hukan from one of the Happy Mail. Again, some business cards, some washi tape um, sample. So I just sort of put them all together in case one day um, I want to have little piece or little bits and pieces to uh, fill, fill up the journal entry. I can just reach those. So currently I have two inserts. One is the regular insert in, in greed. It has the greed as you can see, but I didn't got this one from Travelers Company. Actually, I got this when I was um, in China. So it's from a Chinese brand and it has amazing, really, really good uh, paper quality. I really like this one. Um, but anyway, I have another one. Uh, this one is from Travelers Company. I think it's a limited edition, but you can still find it on Etsy and, and on some of the website as well. I will try to link it down below. I just love this one so much. I really love the embossing, the travel uh, theme of the cover. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So this one is blank. And what I'm going to do with this one is sometimes I, I got a lot of thinking thoughts after I listen to some podcasts or after I read a book. So that's when I want to jot down my ideas, my thoughts and whatnot. So this will be kind of my brain dump insert. Um, yeah, so this is that. And then I have this trifold folder, which I will do another flip through later on. Not flip through, just kind of show you what's inside. So I have this folder at the back here, just sort of attached with the the back of the leather, the cover. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I have in this journal. Basically is getting chunkier because I am doing a lot of drawing in this insert. That's why it's getting chunkier, but I cannot wait to finish the insert and start a new one because I just want to try something new. Um, so let me do the flip through. As I mentioned, this one is just a regular normal um, insert. It Originally, it comes with the plain cover, but I drew these sketches by myself. Um, yeah, just I was having fun. And then this is my cover page. It says volume seven. I'm not sure if it's volume seven actually. 
probably more than that, but yeah, I don't know. I just went with the number seven somehow. So um, actually, I I didn't start the challenge until February 27th, which is this spread. Uh, any pages that I that I complete before February 27th is not in the watercolor or drawing challenge that I've that I've created by myself. <laughs> but I just would like to share with you all. Um, I started this insert in June 18 last year. It's almost one year. I know um, it's been a long time since I journal in my travel notebook because the pregnancy, because of, you know, this or that. And I'm running my online shop. I had a lot of things to prepare. So I, I just didn't have the time to do it. But now I feel a little bit better. So I'm getting back to it and I'm participating in this challenge and I try to journal every single day. So yeah, I try to finish this insert as soon as possible and in a good way. <laughs> but anyway, this is the first entry. I just have this little postcard that I got from from one of the shop in Vancouver. So I just put it in 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 this page. And this is a landscape watercolor practice that I've did for my first entry, sort of. Yeah, I quite like it. And this is another paper collage. Actually I did this page with with Chelsea. Um, excuse me, with Chelsea and it was so fun. <laughs> it just, I had so much fun on that day. We sat in a cafe. It was my very first time still until now. I haven't met any of my pen pal or, or, you know, journal friends at all. I only met Chelsea because I think she had uh, this business, business trip in Vancouver. So we met up in Vancouver. So we had the funniest day ever. I really had a lot of fun with her. We sat in the cafe and start pulling everything out and start journaling on a big table. But anyway, I just sort of put different papers from Happy Mouse all together on this spread from Shemel Garden. And yeah, this is postcard from Shemel Garden. I love her stamp. I haven't finished or complete this spread just because I'm trying to remember all the details from the conversation and what ha what actually happened on that day. So I can just basically write things down. I'm not going to do um, another paper collage on this side. I'm just simply just jot things down, jot the memory down basically. So yeah, that's why I still leave it empty. Um, but yeah, I just love this paper collage page. So here is pretty much I reopened my shop, so I have this digital printable on my shop that I really want to try out. So I want to try the color, I want to try the layout, I want to try how it looks like when, you know, you or me uh, put it in the journal. Um, just basically those are my test testing print. Um, I quite like the color to be honest, but those are not stickers. I, now I have those stickers on my website. So if you are interested, make sure you check it out. I will link it down below. So yeah, this page is basically for testing, but I, as you can see, I still try to do some collage here and there and try to um, write things down. And this is another watercolor practice entry. I did it in June 11, as you can see, but I just basically um, write things down. I I don't know what, I'm not reading it right now, but I think on that day I was really frustrated. Um, but anyway, so this is another spread, a simple, really simple spread. I did this journal with me on my YouTube and I upload it. So um, I will link it in the corner if you are interested. So basically, uh, starting from this spread, I try to maintain one color scheme on one page. You will see more later on in my pages. So for this one is sort of like earth tone and muted color. I'm trying to use, you know, this Havana ochre color as the main, as the main color theme in here. I'm trying to collage different earth tone um, elements like earth tone stamps, earth tone ink pack, earth tone uh, washi tape and labels and handmade um, handmade papers in here and this vintage um, photo as well. So yeah, I just trying to, I'm, I was trying to um, 
put everything together by using basically similar uh, color scheme. And this one as well. Um, I think this is where I start to like to do more paper collage instead of just, you know, writing or what a coloring. Um, but I like to layer down different papers here and there. And it's quite interesting to try this because I think there is no right or wrong uh, journaling style when we are talking about journaling. Um, I think no matter what, <laughs> whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you happy when you're journaling, that's the right journal style or journaling style. I am not really care about how much content that I've written on this day. I don't really care if it's just, you know, one big chunk of paper collage like this one. I didn't, I didn't write a lot of content on those two pages. Um, I don't care about it. I just think it's beautiful in my eyes or it's basically a brain dump like this one requires a lot of lo requires a lot of writing. I still love this one. Just whatever makes you happy. Um, I think that is the right journaling style. Um, but anyway, this is another watercoloring. I actually um, hand make some watercolor by myself last year. So this is the first time that I've used my handmade watercolor and it turns out so good. I love it because I sort of changed the ratio um, between the pigment, earth pigment and the binder, the watercolor binder. So I, I just, I sort of make my watercolor in a muted, way so not as intense as some of the brands basically <laughs> it's more muted so it's more softed so yeah um this is my first try and i really 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 like it so on this spread i just sort of collage different vintage um elements from team halls i think and this is my spread and it kind of the color kind of matched together um and this is another one like i said i am really into those paper layering journaling style so this is another spread of that and this is another one i did a little writing in the corner actually i really really love this one especially the um the wash seal i just love whenever i use wash seal <laughs> i think it's just add on so much on the paper and this is another paper collage by using some real vintage letters and book pages and stamps here and there and this is another watercoloring and I have a little tip in in here. Um, I did this journal with me um, for, my, for my channel. So also I will link it down below. Um, yeah, another muted tone spread. And in here, I sort of put this handmade paper in um, on this spread because I, I just have this big leftover piece of this beautiful handmade paper that I've got from my paper supplier and it's not big enough to put in my you know handmade journals for for selling so I decided to just glue it down and then I try to collage it with different um, elements again like labels washi tapes and and um, vintage pages and stickers and whatnot and then it's kind of like a trifle or like a folder thing um, so in here I have another little paper collage so actually you can you know pull the pages around um, here I'm thinking to just jot down some secret or whatsoever in here and then I can sort of hide them all together with this big pieces of um, handmade paper with stamps on it so yeah <laughs> just another um, paper layering thing. Um, so this is the February 27 um, when I started my very first watercolor challenge entry. I remember one of you guys have asked me on my previous video or can I can I recommend some of the YouTube channels to practice your watercolor as a beginner. I do actually, I will link them all down below. Um, I really love those channels a lot. But if we're talking about a specific content like for example this one on that day i really wanted to draw an olive branch which i did i just google or just google on youtube 
I will just jot down what the coloring, all this French tutorial, and they will have tons, like tons of tutorials that you can follow along. So all you need to do is just do the search, do the search, and find the piece that you really really like and follow the video. Um, that's basically what I did, and I just sort of practice on a scrapbook, not scrapbook, just on a sketches, um, what a color smaller piece in here and try to create my own watercolor palette just for this just for painting this olive branch and then this is the final result so this is basically what i did um so yeah i will link those youtube channels down below and i hope they help you guys as well especially i am a beginner so i think those videos or those channels are really uh, beginner friendly so this is another entry on this one i tried to as you can see i tried to make it um, in the green tone so i tried to use um, green handmade papers in here try to make this painting in a green tone a uh, green color scheme and yeah i remember i didn't feel like to draw actually on that day so by the time i was waiting uh, this painting to dry i just tried to pull my um, journal pouch and pull out some of the papers and different things all together and start to do the paper collage by myself and in this little envelope it actually it has washi tapes in and it's kind of like a tip in it's supposed to be a tip in but it keep falling down um, it keep falling out and in this little envelope i have a letter for myself i wrote myself a little letter so i just tuck it in here it's a secret so I just kind of use this washi tape to tape everything all together. This is my second entry, actually. Um, this is not my second entry. This is my second entry. Um, indigo is my favorite color. Um, I love it so much. But drawing ocean or, or landscape or sea or water-wise theme um, is my biggest fear. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm trying to get back to it, practice more by using indigo color, by using, you know, similar color scheme again. So I just create this, um, this spread. And of course, they are inspired by some of the YouTube uh, videos as well. I will link it down below. So this is my second entry. And I did this one um, a couple of days ago, I think, not too long ago. And because on that day, I received some handmade watercolor tube from a watercolor artist um so i just couldn't wait to uh, swatch them and the color are just so beautiful and the names are really beautiful too they call it green north palette and they have different colors like this one moreland border view and this is the green gray and it is really 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 beautiful um so i was trying to use those colors um, apply those colors into this drawing, but ended up I just used the border view. In this landscape, I make um, mistakes as well. Um, that's another story, but I try to save it. But like I said, this is just a, you know, drawing challenge, um, and I want myself to improve my skills along as the practice. So that's why you draw. I that's why I draw and I learn, and that's the only way that I can think of to improve my skill. So that actually was really helpful. So I won't make the same mistake again. And this is another entry of this um, two gohe, no, gouache. Sorry, gouache painting. Um, it's my second time to use gouache. Uh, the first time wasn't that pleasant. <laughs> I didn't like the, I didn't like the result at all. I don't even remember where did I put my first gouache painting but um i tried again on the other day and i i love it i love how forgiving they are if you make a mistake you just basically wait until it's dry and apply another layer on top of it it's so easy to be activated by water it's just a really amazing media that i that is very new to me so i'm trying uh gouache a little bit too so those are the two Paintings that I tried on the other day, I will also link them down below. They are all inspired by different um, artists. And yeah, that's another entry. 
But as you can see, I was trying to use similar color scheme again. If I have pink, um, green, you know, uh, yellow, then I'm trying to use, you know, green, um, pink and, and yellow and, you know, like similar color basically. And this one's empty and this is the last one that I did two days ago. Um, I don't usually do it on the weekend, so I, I was trying to have a break during the weekend. So I only do this, I only participate this challenge during the week from Monday to Friday. And I try to draw every single day and I post it on my social media, on my Instagram. So this is the last, um, the one that I did on Friday or Saturday, I couldn't remember. But again, it's this ocean landscape view and I try to um, create a really cloudy, moody theme but ended up the color is just really um i don't know it's just not as intense as, as i thought but that's okay <laughs> that is the result of this painting and those are the colors that i've used for doing this painting and again another little paper collage as well so yeah i am more than halfway done and there are a couple more pages to go and some of you are curious how how i draw in this insert without wrinkling the pages and and the answer is I put watercolor paper on top of the regular paper you just need to glue it down first you need to find your favorite watercolor or mixed media paper you trim it in size or any size that you want it and just glue it down like I have this these two pieces in here, and it's kind of like a square shape, in a square shape, but I do have those, like this one. Um, this one is a big one, like the whole page, whole half page is, is watercolor paper, so I can draw a big landscape or draw a big um, subject or whatnot. So yeah, I, just, I, don't, I don't practice, I don't draw directly on the paper, um, I glue the watercolor paper down on the regular paper and I draw on the watercolor paper. So in that case, your journal might be a little bit chunkier because of, you know, you are adding those extra weight or extra pages in the insert. But in that case, you can get a better result, not worrying about, you know, wrinkling your pages or water doesn't really go to the direction that you like. and it happens a lot when you just draw on the regular um, insert and I just <laughs> figure out this solution from, uh, by myself. But anyway, this is the, the so far catch up on this insert and I cannot wait to share with you more on my social media. And this is my second notebook, um, second insert that I've mentioned. And this is the trifle. I've got it from Rokuten, it's directly, um, ship from Japan. It's a Japanese online shop, I think. So in this folder, I just have this writing board. I have a postcard that I got from Chelsea during Christmas. I really need to reply her very soon. And I've got some dry flowers and I've got some other grip, grip, grip paper, grip paper, um, you know, for journaling, some label for journaling as well. On the other side, I have a bunch of um, paper sample. So um, if you don't know, I am creating those monthly bundle. It's kind of like a journal bundle every single month. And I, uh, I sell them on my website. So I will link it down below if you are interested. In it. So in March, the theme is journal essential. I'm just trying to put all the journaling essentials that I need um, to do a daily basic journal entry, like all the tools that I need in this bundle, like pens, gel pen, brush pen, um, stamps, impact, um, and papers and inserts basically. And for the March bundle, I'm thinking to make a trifold um, TN Travelers Notebook insert in standard size. So I have these papers to test out. I'm still testing which one is the best paper to make the cover. I still haven't figured out yet. But yeah, um, I'm still trying to create those bundles for you guys. And now I'm accepting pre-order. So yeah, if you are interested, please click the link down below. 
and I think that is everything that I need to include it in this in this video. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, enjoy this challenge, or or just join me on my Instagram and have a great day. <laughs> I hope you have a great day, happy journaling, and just have a cozy cozy warm day um yeah i will see you in my next video soon bye bye